Laugh New York Shakespeare Festival, and later in film roles which range from an intellectual political prisoner in The Kiss of the Spider Woman to the ghoulish patriarch of the Adams Family. He will be buried in his native Puerto Rico. In 1992, we met at this very table, and we talked about stardom and the impact of the success of the Adams Family on his career. We remember Raul Julia. I read, and I never, I always assumed you were a film star. I mean, it was apparent to me that you were a film star. I mean, I would watch you and do a whole number of roles. And then I read these things that say, Adam's family made Raul Julia finally <laughs> a film star. I mean, what, what was it about that that made it any different than, than the roles you had in Presumed Innocent and a lot of other places? Then? I don't know. I, yeah. it, I mean, did I, you feel like that? Did you notice that all of a sudden, because of this hit movie, that, that the world reacted differently to you and you became bankable or something? Well, they reacted differently, but that, uh, it's not uh, what my experience is of myself as an actor. I yeah. mean, the world, yes, d reacted differently. After the Adams Family. After the Adams Family, and I'm they more said, bankable. Get, get me Raul <laughs> Julia, man. Yes, and now. He brings them in the theater. <laughs> exactly. It's one of those things. It's like, I don't know, maybe you hit the lottery or something, but that doesn't mean that your life has... It's my life has been going on fine before and after the Adams Family. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel, though, that if you'd wanted to, you could have achieved that kind of stardom early? I mean, have you deliberately not sort of sought it so that uh, you want to listen to your own drummer, as they say? Yeah, I just go with uh, the work, and uh, it's sort of like there have been points in my career, like one of them was Two German of Verona. Right. All of a sudden, it was a big Broadway hit. We started doing it in the park. I didn't know that we were going to go to Broadway when, when we started doing it in Central Park for the summer. All of a sudden, yeah. everybody said, you should take it to Broadway. Like, we took it to Broadway, and it became a big thing. That was a, a point. It's, it sort of, like, reminds me of the Adams Family syndrome. Yeah. Uh, or, or another point was uh, uh, Three Penny Opera, when we did Three Penny Opera at Lincoln Center. Uh, that was another point in my career that said, wow, you know, it's one of those things that happen once in a while, like peak experiences uh, for as far as the media and, and the masses are concerned, that you get a lot of attention and they further your career in the sense that then people seek you out more and your, your salary may go up. Uh, and, but the process uh, is, to me, is an ongoing thing. It, it doesn't stop. Raul Julia, in an interview that I did with him in 1992, April 30th, 1992, he died today at 54 years old. He'll be buried in his native Puerto Rico. We thank you for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you next time. See you then.